Dan and Peggy Rupel are a dynamic duo whose mission in life is to advance the kingdom of God and minister through film and television. Dan is a veteran in the entertainment industry. His extensive and prolific 40-year career includes a decade spent overseeing productions on The Price is Right and Late Night with David Letterman, as well as his early work pioneering Christian comedy with sketch comedy team Isaac Air Freight. Today, Dan is desperately needed in, and he's highly respected as a voice of faith to mainstream media leaders. Peggy Rupel is a former adjunct at the esteemed Biola University in the film department. She's passionate about raising up the next generation of storytellers to include God in their creative process. From internship programs to co-directing a national media conference with CBS Studios, Peggy has created countless opportunities for young filmmakers. Currently, she is the co-founder producer of Windrider Summit at Sundance Film Festival. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, we're back with my dear, dear friends, Dan and Peggy. It is such an honor for me to have you here on the program. Oh, today. it's a pleasure for us to be here. <laughs> it is. We love you dearly. Oh, Anytime yes. with you. Is yes, a I have so much respect for both of you. You know that. And, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things that I, I want to ask you, um, we've seen the level of the ocean really rise in terms mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. faith-based content, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Christian movies. How are Christians even hidden in the indus industry, the secular industry of television and film, and, and what kind of an impact do you feel like we're really making? Well, we're making a, a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. um, not so much when I first started in the late 70s. You know, we mm -hmm. would try to form a little, uh, you know, Bible fellowship of, of media professionals in an apartment in Hollywood, we could barely get 12 people out. <laughs> wow. You know, now, um, as far as working professionals on our database, it's over 10,000. Mm. And we know there's countless more who we don't have their, their information. So mm -hmm. what is exciting right now is as the media is expanding and the location of where film is being produced just keeps expanding, expanding, we are slowly keeping up with the cadence of the growth of the industry wow. with the Christian presence within the industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. So the growth of the industry, that would be uh, not just with, with in terms of people and their faith, but also learning technology, learning what's mm -hmm. new. I mean, yeah. how, how have things changed since you started out yeah. in the industry? Well, uh, everything, everything changed in around 2000, 2005 okay. with, with the mm -hmm. digital revolution mm -hmm. because suddenly you didn't have to be in one geographic area. You know, prior to that, uh, most production, TV and film, happened in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I would get calls from young kids or maybe their parents saying, Do, does my kid need to come to Hollywood? And the, the answer back then was absolutely. You've mm -hmm. got to be in Hollywood. That's where it's happening. But when digital came, and you can do production anywhere. You know, a, a kid in Des Moines mm -hmm. can have a YouTube channel with three million followers, True. you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. do it right in, the, in their basement. So we're seeing, uh, actually Georgia has surpassed Hollywood yes. in the amount oh, of production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Hollywood's too, and then you've got Albuquerque, you've got Austin, you have New York, you have Vancouver, you have Chicago. It just, the growth is amazing. Yeah. And what's so exciting is more and more Christians are getting their training, understanding I've got to be the best of the best mm -hmm. to enter yes. this kind of you know industry, but also they're being encouraged now. Yeah. They weren't in my day. They're being encouraged by their parents, by pastors, by yes. churches, saying, yes, that's where we need a Christian presence. In fact, it's the that. largest growing major in all Christian universities. Seriously. Yes, it's one of the largest growing. So we wow. feel an onus to be able to prepare that next generation because God is raising yeah. them up. So it's yeah. remarkable, these storytellers are coming mm -hmm. and with a lens, a redemptive lens, mm -hmm. and it's making a difference. And they're making a difference on the set, just getting mm -hmm. to know people mm -hmm. and just being an ambassador, a witness. So, um, and, mm -hmm. and you know, their, their integrity uh, yeah. and, and their character helps elevate them in their career as well. Very true. So we have a lot of visionaries, and, and I think they've grown up really in an era of storytelling. Yeah. So that yes. must have been uh, you know, something that inspired them. Now tell us about Master Media mm -hmm. and how you fit into that world and, and how you mentor some of these young people. Right. Well, as you mm -hmm. said in the intro, Master Media, our slogan is we are a trusted voice of faith 
to the mainstream leaders of today, as well as an encouraging voice of experience to the uh, media leaders and influencers mm -hmm. of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we have, basically our goal is we wanna populate yeah. every executive office, every executive suite, every production office, yes. every studio, uh, sound stage. We want to populate it with the Christian presence. Yeah. And so we, and Peggy and I, we have the pleasure of speaking at a lot of film mm -hmm. schools. Yeah. Uh, we spoke at 16 universities right before uh, COVID shut mm -hmm. us down. And what our, one mm -hmm. of our messages is be an ambassador. Go mm -hmm. and don't see it as a career and a stepping stone to fame and fortune because that's a fallacy. What you do is you mm -hmm. say, this is an assignment from the Lord. Wow. I want to bring the kingdom. Yeah. You know, and that's what I, I was, my goal was to do on the sets of Price is Right and, mm -hmm. and David Letterman, to be a Christian ambassador mm -hmm. in those areas. And I'm seeing young people not pursuing fame like they may have a, 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 maybe a decade ago. Mm -hmm. They are saying, I want to be, I want to be a presence in the light for right. the Lord. I want right. to make a difference. And I yes. also want to be able to be, be like a Daniel. I want to be excellent mm. in craft. That's good. But we encourage them, but also... You don't you don't drink from the king's cup you That's know so good yes, to be, be strong able to in be character. strong oh. in conviction and character yeah. and uh and and really it's been a joy for us as a couple yeah especially in speaking to these universities because so much we talk about mm. what it was like to navigate a 45-year career in the industry yes the temptations the yes. challenges and that is so important mm -hmm. because now we have so many people rising up that can be influencers mm -hmm. mentors uh and be able mm -hmm. to help extend that next yeah. steps into the industry that's so good because there's such a seduction that comes mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the whole entertainment industry. Sure. I mean, yeah. I've, I've lived it. Uh, we've all been there. Mm -hmm. And it can, it can really speak to the places of our identity yes. where yes. we haven't yes. resolved yes. or figured out really who we are. And I think that we're vulnerable in, in those places. Mm -hmm. So I love that you're mentoring young people. Mm -hmm. But you've also, Dan, been able to go into... Uh, offices yes. where there are you know chief producers and and leaders in the mm -hmm. industry longtime veterans and encourage um tell us what that looks like well it, it, it's really kind of amazing because you go into an ex executive office mm -hmm. maybe a ceo of a, a streamer or something i don't want to give an example but um you walk in mm -hmm. and they usually are kind of guarded. They're kind right? of sitting back and <laughs> yeah. in, in, in a nice way, but yeah. they're kind of suspect, you know, what, what's this guy want? And they'll say that. Yeah. So um, what, what, what do you want? Yeah. And I'll say, you know, that's a, that's a fair question mm -hmm. because I see outside your door, you've got a line of people probably mm -hmm. till you go home tonight and they all want something from you. Wow. They want you to green light their movie. They want you to okay their budget or, or whatever it mm -hmm. might be. Mm -hmm. And I just say, I don't want anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking on you so because good. you are at such a high level. It may have come at a cost. Mm. It may have come at a cost to your family, to your kids, to your marriage. Um, and I just want to be here to see how if I, I can serve you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd like, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the Christian audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then before I leave, I'd like to pray with you. Yeah. And I have never had an executive turn me down in the prayer. And it, wow. it's wonderful because sometimes when I go back a second, third, fourth, fifth time, they will say it before mm -hmm. I, they'll say, Dan, you, you are going to pray for me before you leave, aren't oh, you? And I said, goodness. absolutely. Yeah. And it's amazing that, I, you know what I think it is, Brenda? I think it's, they are, it's such a high level. Mm -hmm. They have so much influence. They have mm -hmm. so much authority, but they know their feet are made of clay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They know the pressure just, that comes with that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're yes. just a human being and mm -hmm. they're, they're fearful that I'm going to make the wrong decision. Yeah. I'm going to green light the wrong movie and then I don't have a job right. tomorrow. That's yeah. true. You know, that's yes. what happens when a movie oh. tanks or a TV show yeah. folds. So they know they can use all the help mm -hmm. they can get mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. someone that they can trust. Right. I'm not going to go to the trades or, or social media and say mm -hmm. everything about them. I, we keep it confidential mm -hmm. and they're, they welcome us to their mm -hmm. office now. And I love when mm -hmm. he gets to speak to actors and actresses because yes. they have a unique a situation where they're all looking to advance their mm -hmm. profile, right? Yeah, right. Um, but we weren't created to be worshipped. Yeah. And when they get to a certain level, that's where they implode. Mm -hmm. Because to be able to, to believe all that, to seek all that, 
it is it is very empty. So to be able to come uh, with no agenda, n right. nothing in our back pocket to sell that. or yeah. anything, other than to mm. take your pulse and see how you're doing mm. and how can we pray for you. And you know, that's the one thing that when I met you guys years ago, I thought these people, I mean, you just, there's no guile. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's really what being Christ-like is. So many people uh, in the church, it, it, you know, we've oftentimes thought that to be Christ-like, we had to sound religious. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the biggest mistakes. It can be off-putting. Uh, in an industry where people are guarded with Christians and they don't, mm -hmm. they don't understand what is Christianity, and to be able to be the love of Christ and the yes. light of Christ, yes. to bring dignity, to bring yes. um, encouragement to human beings who yes. were made in the image of God. I mean, Dan, you talked about this once. We all sat around a campfire. Mm -hmm. And you talked about a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. Can you just touch on that for a minute? Yes, uh, I remember we talked about that, and uh, now I got to think of the song. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. Oh, holy night. Oh, holy night. night. Yes, yes. yes. Um, until the, uh, yes. you know, I'm, I'm going to butcher the lyrics. Till he appeared. Till he appears, and the soul felt its, it's worth. worth. You know, yeah. that's amazing because, as you said, we struggle with our identity, and especially in this culture, mm -hmm. we are in a self-identifying. I yes. don't want to. I don't want to identify myself. Right. You know, I don't have a clear picture of me, but God is saying, I've got your identity. We are made in their image. So the soul feels its worth when the spirit of the Lord comes wow. and says, you are my child. I've Amen. created you in my uh, image. You are my masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I've created you for some great, wonderful things. Yes. And you're not alone. Yes, we're not alone. No. And I think that that's why this is such an important and needed ministry or um, an influence in mm -hmm. in the, the world of Hollywood. We'll call it Hollywood, even though sure. it's now yes. gone beyond the yes. borders sure. of Hollywood, to be able to be that person that brings that kind of, that level of validation mm -hmm. to identity mm -hmm. and that might pose a new uh, perspective. I mean, is God opening doors for you to be able to have those conversations yes. with and people? Also, too, with that, uh, just to punctuate that, is that you know, uh, there there is this tension they feel because sure. they're being stretched because they've got to be excellent at what they do, yeah. but they also have to be self-promoting a little bit, right? Yeah. And it, and and it's it's really hard because it's how do I? They're striving in that yeah. place, but also there's a place of rest. Yeah. See, I I really have to be on my toes and ready and be able to really identify and share um, the best of what I can bring to something. Absolutely. But at the same time, you be able to have you have a light touch and be yeah. able to trust whatever God has for you. Expect, yeah. Especially if you're an actor, because what you're mm. promoting, your product is you yeah. mm -hmm. as an actor. Yeah. So it's easy to start striving and, and trying to get yourself ahead and your name out there and work the room whenever you go to mm. an industry gathering. So I just wrote an article actually called Perseverance versus uh, Striving. Mm. Striving is self-generated. Wow. I'm, tr I'm trying to bust through a door that maybe God doesn't have for right. me. And there's a lot of energy in that, and a lot of disappointment <laughs> in that. And it's, it's an empty uh, door that we're go going on. It's exhausting. Yeah. But perseverance is working hard in following mm. what the Spirit is leading you good. to do, going through the doors God's called you to do. So good. And that Confidently. is energizing. Confidently. It's, it's peaceful and it's energizing because mm. God is going before you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the next 30 seconds, I want you to just encourage somebody that's a struggling young mm -hmm. filmmaker mm -hmm. with a dream. Mm -hmm. Well, I would just want to say everyone on planet Earth mm -hmm. has a story. Mm -hmm. They have a story that needs to be shared. And it might just be telling a story to your neighbor. It might just be sharing something mm -hmm. in the workplace. But if God has given you talents in film, cinema, whatever we want to say or label it, you know, tell that story in an mm. amazing way. Mm. Tell it in a, a, a way that will connect to the generation, mm. uh, to the culture. We want to move the needle in culture, and mm. that's where you come in. Yes. You know, we need more and more. Our goal is to see a Christian presence in every different soundstage, every level of production that can shine the light of Christ and be a representative for Christ. So good. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
And we're back with Dan and Peggy Rupel. Guys, I want to talk about Sundance Film mm -hmm. Festival. You're a big part of that. And tell us about Wind Rider and all that's happening there. Well, it's been remarkable. About 20 years ago, it's hard to believe that. Yeah. But wow. um, I was working at Biola Film Program. We had an idea of what would it be like to take a bunch of students, Fuller Seminary, Biola, and see what we can go. I mean, immerse them in the mecca of independent film space okay. and what kind of conversations are happening there because it's such a cultural moment there. It's mm -hmm. such a big cultural moment. Mm -hmm. And so um, now it has grown to 250 to 300 students, oh, my goodness. universities from all around the country, and wow. probably 400 gather for s the summit every year. And it's a week-long program. Yeah. And what we're doing is, is we're just experiencing the transformative power of story, but we do it in a community. And mm -hmm. in this community, we get to look at um, look at film through the lens uh, a spiritual, uh, theological view. Okay. And this really shapes them as storytellers. Oh, I love that. To be able to go back and really be able to tell a story that is culturally relevant, but also it's very thoughtful and um, articulate. Yeah. And it really advances what we found their calling to the ministry. Because if the world's already talking about things and groping for family and faith and e even though it's broken sure. sometimes there some of the films we see it, it is fuel for these young students to be able to think I can do this mm. with a redemptive lens and tell this story as adept as they are doing it as authentic as they are right. doing it right and you're an ordained minister so <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah you really bring a lot of that knowledge to the table mm -hmm. I, I would I would think Mm -hmm. to help mentor and, and kind of shape and mold some of the, the views and the perspectives, is that correct? When the joy of that is to be uh -huh. able, they're, they're at that stage of uh, their grad and undergrad, um, they're okay. just stepping into the, their first steps into the industry. Yeah. And really, uh, what a joy to be able to help, you know, shape a heart of faith for that mm -hmm. process, but also to, to help to prepare them for the culture they're going into. Mm -hmm. uh, like Paul, he, he, he knew who he was speaking to. Right. And to be able to come in and be able to speak the vernacular, yeah. but be able to do it in a winsome way and mm -hmm. be able to be storytellers at the exactly. top of their craft. And that's a powerful place of influence and, and a very needed one because these are the storytellers of tomorrow mm -hmm. who will be shaping the minds of the viewers. I mean, that. let's face it, entertainment yes. has shaped our culture. Yes, yes I absolutely. Think. And, mm -hmm. and to reference what Peggy was saying about Paul in the marketplace, um, Sundance is really like kind of the, the microcosm of the Athens of today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where the cultural conversation is, is mm -hmm. just starting in its seminal stage. It's kind yeah. of the embryo uh, you know, level of it. Mm -hmm. If you need to know the difference between a, a Hollywood film, we'll just call it Hollywood, yeah. <laughs> and an independent film. Mm -hmm. See, the Hollywood films are trying to make money. Independent film, there's not a lot of money in it. True. What they're trying to do is their passion projects. Yeah. They're trying to Make offer you know, what is really on their heart, what's really mm -hmm. on their mind, what the, the, the culture is grappling with. Mm -hmm. And so they are visiting the big questions of life. What is the mm -hmm. purpose of man? Is there a God? Is, you mm -hmm. know, what I how do we get redeemed? You know, those big questions of life, mm -hmm. they're exploring, they're grappling with it. And when we can expose our students, not just to the films, but to the filmmakers themselves, yeah. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, they are saying, hey, I can take my faith and I can translate it yes. through my Christian lens into what I produce for, for mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. And the saying is, is uh, the, the Sundance winner of today is the Oscar winner of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing. We're mm -hmm. seeing so many films that we see wow. and a year later they win the Oscar. So we champion wow. young filmmakers like an Ava DuVernay, a Ryan Coogler. Wow at the seminal part of their career, when they come in and we, we get to share with them and encourage them and oftentimes mm -hmm. pray with them and send them on their way. And they have like this debt of love because they know there's this group of Christians that asked the most mm -hmm. thoughtful questions and mm -hmm. cared for my soul. Yeah. And really the hard, deep uh, underpinnings of my film mm -hmm. resonated with them. And so this has really been wonderful. And through the history of doing that for 20 years, actually five years ago, Sundance got a hold of us and said, listen, we need to meet with you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, you are our number one block ticket buyers. You have been our most faithful audience. We really don't know much about you. Wow. you. And so they pulled us in, they asked us questions, and then they said, how can we support you? Um, oh. And so we, of course, there's a, you know, <laughs> and they really, you know what that comes from is faithful presence. Yes, yes. They saw that we did them good. 
-hmm. when their filmmakers at mm -hmm. their exit interview would say, what is your most remarkable experience you had? And they'd say, believe it or not, it's a group of Christians who asked the best questions. Wow. Who I gave them five minutes and stayed 30. Mm. And uh, so, and then we, we have maintained those relationships as well. And they've been Good. bridges for our students as well. Mm. Our own students now have gone on and they've, they've done successful things. What, the latest being yeah, uh, talk about it. one who is now um, Destin Daniel Creighton, who's doing a Marvel film. And oh, he was a Windrider student. Yeah, yeah. Nice. He's doing Manchurian, one of the next oh, Man wow. Manchurian. That's right. And so he was um, uh, Man Mandalorian. 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 What am I saying, Manchurian? <laughs> Manchuria candidate. That's a different one. <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah. Well, but, and I'll he get was, my movies. That's There's okay. a lot of movies out there. That's so funny. He was a student 15 years yes. ago with us. Yeah. So that's how exciting and how fulfilling. Yeah. I mean, that's the reward, right? Mm -hmm. yes. For you guys. Absolutely. That's to be able to yes. see that seed get planted and and you know come to fruition and, and be a harvest in the lives of so many people through all these students now you also work with a lot of pretty good actors pretty well-known mm -hmm. actors i mean mm -hmm. can we talk about some of that i mean mm -hmm. some of mm -hmm. the some of the people you're yeah well act let, one. yeah let me jump to our act one program yes our mm -hmm. act one program uh, it's a master's class mm -hmm. in screenwriting and producing. Mm -hmm. And we call it, uh, it's grad school for those that don't have the time or money to go yeah. to grad school. Oh, wow. And it's a summer long program. Mm -hmm. We do it online right now. And it is taught by Christian media professionals at the highest level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, a showrunner of a major TV show, a, a filmmaker, a director, a, a writer, whatever it might be, at the highest level. Mm -hmm. and. Um, these students, I mean, now Act One alumni pepper in, you know, all over, they're yes. peppered all over high, ho, uh, Hollywood at the highest levels. What we did, tying it back to what uh, Windrider uh, Summit at, at um, Sundance, is this year, I've been wanting to do this, Brenda, I've been wanting to do this for years. <laughs> Finally, this year, I brought about 12 of our faculty. Okay. Who, uh, who were really high in the industry, mm -hmm. and we brought them with us. We rented a big house, uh -huh. and we had a week of just praying together, laughing together, talking mm -hmm. together, watching movies. We just had the greatest time. But the, the takeaway was each morning the, they would go with us to, the mm -hmm. Sunday, to our Windrider Forum mm -hmm. Summit. It used to be called the Forum. We now call it Summit, okay. so I'm, I'm stumbling yeah. on the name. But what happened is the students could now sit at the same table as them. Yeah. They're not just hearing up on the platform, oh, this yeah, director, but they're talking to somebody right next to them. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And you know, as you're talking about this, I'm just thinking about how important it is to have community. Yes. Especially as believers, and you know, to be able to have people we're accountable to that it are sparking, um, you know, they're inspiring us and, and sparking new ideas and new concepts, mm -hmm. but also keeping us in check yeah. and in a yeah. loving way. And I think that's such a, a refreshment to see that that's happening. It's, it's the life force, yes. Yes. the river that the, the, the scriptures talk about of mm -hmm. life that flows from the, our innermost parts as then we are the Christ coming to be revealed mm -hmm on the yeah. earth, just as we were mentioning yeah. earlier when, when you mentioned the Christmas song, how that uh, as he appeared, and so you appear on the scene and mm -hmm. your students appear on the scene with mm -hmm. something different, yes. right. something beautiful. They bring with them the presence of the Holy Spirit yes. that's yes. living inside of them. Yes. And, and what I enjoy about Windrider, we, we get so excited, get excited. And passionate <laughs> about this. I love it, what I, I love it. <laughs> what I enjoy about Windrider and, and parallel, same mm -hmm. thing with, uh, um, with Act One, is the fact that we get to um, raise up examples for these young yeah. students to be able to see this is how I want to mm -hmm. end well, to do well. This is what true success mm -hmm. looks like. It's doing your things with excellence, doing what God has called you to do, right. and God will take care of the rest. Yeah. And to be faithful, and uh, that, that they don't have to sell out. They don't have to um, compromise. Mm -hmm. And what does that look like? It needs to be lived out. Mm -hmm. So that's the community mm -hmm. that is the power of community. Right. And um, it has been so important. And that's, I think, why we're, it's burgeoning right now. So yeah. such mm -hmm. great growth pains um, mm -hmm. to be able to see because there's, the Lord's there, doing it. There's no more <clears throat> art form that's more collaborative than mm -hmm. cinema. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a village. You, you, right. you and, and Paul know Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It takes, a, so one of our major 
uh, uh, things that we tell students is find your tribe. As soon as you get into the industry, find your tribe. Find that maybe half dozen industry professionals mm -hmm. who understand the journey you're yes. on. They understand that you're gonna get 90 no's before one you know, yes, right. and, but would also celebrate the victories with you. So mm -hmm. we have, with Master Media, we've set up communities. We've had a long time thriving community in Hollywood and in New York. Mm -hmm. We launched a few years ago in Georgia. We have a thriving community there. We are getting ready to launch in Austin, Texas. And then next, uh, or this summer, we will be moving into Vancouver mm -hmm. because it's not a Lone Ranger thing. You right. have to do it in collaboration. And you, that's the way Jesus built the body yes. of Christ, that we will work in tandem with one another. Amen. And you guys you, are exploding. Yeah. Yes, and when you think about it, the media, the, cult, the media culture, I mean, it is the largest mission field out there. Yes. And the most impactful because Absolutely. it it speaks into culture it shapes mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. and uh so we how wonderful to have mm -hmm. uh spirit-filled uh mm -hmm. redemptive storytellers yeah. to be able to give the lens and, and you know what and to do it in a winsome way so that they're giving glimpses of yeah. the kingdom like jesus <clears throat> jesus sometimes told a story and and he was just the kingdom of god is like yes. he tell a little story maybe not everything yeah. but a glimpse of the kingdom and that's so winsome sometimes people came back for more and we can do that Yes. as well and be very effective globally mm -hmm. mainstream and within the christian market mm -hmm. as well wow incredible how uh the lord is just opening doors for you now if i, I do want to talk about the fact that you are a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. so you're donor base yes. yeah. now if i'd love to be able to share we'll we'll put this on the screen for people but how can they find you how can they support what you're doing mm -hmm. or connect with you if there's any young uh, producers, filmmakers out there that, that would like to connect and haven't heard of Master Media. Right. Well, you, can, you just go to our website, mastermedia.com. It'll have everything about what we do, how you can support us in prayer support as well as finance, yeah. financial, mm -hmm. uh, how to enroll in an in a Act One program mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. study and, and further, and also how to find communities in these yeah. different Good. production centers I just mentioned yeah. uh, around the country. Mm. Dan mm. and Peggy, I wish we had all day. <laughs> yes. I love you guys yeah, so much. Love you and too. You too. Thank you for being on Inside yeah. Voice. Yeah. yeah, and thank you for your voice. Oh, it's, thank you. It makes the difference in appreciate the arts you. and everything. You have been mm. a blessing to the community. Appreciate you. And friends, we appreciate you. Thank you for being here with us. And uh, I know that you were blessed. Go support Master Media and find them online and join us again next time. We love you. Bye-bye. Thank you.